hello everybody you are welcome back to my youtube channel in case you are meeting me for the first time you are watching Chul mommy trailers tv you are welcome back to my youtube channel please if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell in case i'm dropping a video you get notification immediately thank you so much i want to quickly drop a short video it's a monday morning motivation mmm <laughs> Uh, in short, you know, I don't like calling it uh, motivation because I don't want to be caught among those uh, motivational speakers. So, you know that all the motivational speakers we have in this world, they lie too much. Motivational speakers are meant to go to hell because so many of them, 99.9% of them, they lie too much and they say what is not true. You understand? So that's, I don't want to be called motivational speaker. I always say some words to elevate people's spirits, to elevate you, to give you hope that uh, life is not um, finished. So that is it. Um, I want to drop this video about um, being a mother. My part of being a mother my part of being a mother i'll use myself as an example so that other people can relate because they said experience is the best teacher so i'm going to be using myself as an example and talk about myself i'll talk about myself so being a mother and why i i i said being a mother and i want to also um push it in when a lot of people said a uh, single mothers or women go and work women go and work when they say women go and work i can understand because a lot of women they are married they are living with their partners or with their husband so they can manage some certain situation together but when a lot of people project their mind and focus on single mother go and work uh, stop to the eat government money in hand that is the part where i'm coming in and that is the part where it really gets me angry because I am an example uh, so just like I said I'm going to be talking about myself so um, about a few weeks now um, I'm done with my schools online and I don't like to be um, bored I don't like I don't like to be bored so I said to myself oh this time I'm just going to be at home and I'm going to be bored I have my certificate uh, why can't I look for a job and I also have um, the power or the opportunity not to work at all for the rest of my life yes but I don't want to take it to be an um, official something because I'll be bored what will I be doing sitting at home very soon now my children will grow and because I'm fast forwarding my children to grow up very soon now my children will grow what will I be doing at home I mean even if it's um, half or uh, half time job I have to so I don't want to make it an official to make it an official that I don't want to work for the rest of my life so few weeks ago i started um send, sending in applications online you know because of the coronavirus you can't um go direct to offices so i started sending my credentials i learned i have it here i'm just coming from a job interview <laughs> So the, the thing, I'm feeling so angry. I am so annoyed. That's why I decided to do this video because I don't know where to pour the anger. So I decided to on this video. And so I'm just coming from a job interview. As you can see, you see my name and this is my file. We are all my certificate. Ah, uh, this is uh, my certificate. I think some of them, I didn't even carry all of them. These are, we are my certificate. Uh, so I'm just coming from job interview to job interview. So I said to myself, what will I be doing at Toma? I'll be bored. So, you know, staying at Toma, I'll not be jumping from one live video to another. What am I going to learn at least? I can do some more, some more makeup. So I'm done with that one. I can formulate organic skin care, a very good one that can help your skin. I'm good with that one. And I was also, I registered with an, an online marketing school. 
and the money was too much for me the the school fees is about 25,000 euros and I also submitted the form for my state government to see if they will pay so I'm still waiting for that for their reply if the state government will pay for me then I'll start going I will go to school for one year then I can work from home all over Europe <laughs> That is shocking though. I can work from home all over Europe, all over Europe with uh, my certificate. So I'm still waiting for the state government. I submit all the papers already for them. So they told me that, that they received my 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 paper. So I should wait. My school already faxed everything to them. So they tell us to wait that. They want to see to read the possibility then they'll get back to us. So I said, what will I be doing at all? Let me go and look for a job. So I sent out my papers, my applications, my, alongside with my certificate and all that. So I got about six emails of inv invitation for Forstellung. Forstellung, I think, is a interview, intro, interview to, to um, talk to the person um, direct. So because of the coronavirus, they have to really give you um, an official appointment so about the six emails that i got i i picked two inside because i find two two of the job very interesting exactly what i studied and it was two two big, big hospitals so i picked the two interview and i called them on the phone they give me an official um, appointment so today in the morning after dropping my boys off school I said I have appointment. I went there when I went there. The process of getting into the hospital, you have to fee form, you have to do this, you have to do that. So I went to the first place. When I went to the first place, the woman didn't expect that. <laughs> The woman, the woman thought I was one big human being. So when she saw me, I was just a young girl with this man, Afro kinky, so with my slim tight jeans, with this my shirt, and my. A shopper with my khaki, I was holding. so I quickly chuck in my khaki. You know, <laughs> but they not say I be big girl. You understand that kind of thing. So and she offered me a seat. We sit down, we talk, and she said she went through my credential. She liked it. She really impressed as a black young girl, a mother and dad. And she said, oh, in this particular hospital, she have a free space, and that's why she um, she 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 invited me so um i need to start by six o'clock i have to it's not that um it's all through six o'clock there's a shift for six o'clock till two o'clock there's a shift from two o'clock till eight o'clock so it's morning afternoon and then there's a night shift you know that when you are working in um anything that got to do in the hospital um sunday and night shift is tax free and me i'm in the category of a uh, um store toy a tax uh, level two because i'm a, uh, a single mother so tax level two that is my uh, tax um level and she said um my tax level is tax uh, number two she she just printed out everything she said um i am um, i have to be to run all the shift when they call me for morning shift i have to do six o'clock till two o'clock in the afternoon when they call me for afternoon shift i have to go from two o'clock till eight o'clock in the evening then when they call me for night shift i have to go eight o'clock till um the next morning so the the moment the woman said that my my blood <laughs> My blood can't dry for my body. I can't reduce at once. The woman can't say, is there any problem? Now I say, yeah, you know I'm a mother and I have two children, you know, and um, I live alone with them. So it doesn't pass with me. I actually saw on your, um, hey, um, Thanks. Uh, what do they call her for English? Uh, hmm. I want to pronounce it in English. I saw it on your offer that the job start as from eight o'clock, and that was why I submitted my application. So any job that I got to do before eight o'clock, I can't because I have to drop my children in the kindergarten seven thirty. Then I have to pick them up 
by i can pick them up from two to four so she said oh okay somebody else um has taken that place um there's somebody that have to work a very short um hours for the week because this job was 35 hours a week it's not up to 40 so it's not really a full-time job and i was so sad i was just like oh no i needed that that was the one that passed me i really needed that oh and she said sorry there's nothing i can do that means you have to go and wait when your children are all grown up can take care of themselves anytime any day then you can apply again so if there's a space i'll be here to call you i said eh she said yes and so meanwhile i met other two ladies there including her there were three so those other two ladies were the one managing another hospital and they don't manage another one. so as i was about leaving the younger one called me and said please can you sit i sit down she said oh i really love your um your in credential is it in credential they call it i love your your the verbum i love your um zocnish that's that is um certificates and all that i would love to employ you on my own clinic that i am managing i can offer you um 7 30 between 7 30 to 8 28 then you close between 1 30 to 14 o'clock but you have to work one Sunday in a month and three Saturdays in a month. <sighs> then I just take, I just breathe and say, <sighs> I don't know where to keep my children. Saturday, three Saturdays in a month and one Sunday in a month. I don't know where I will keep my children. Am I supposed to use part of the salary to employ a nanny that will look after my children for three Saturdays? She said, oh, you can give it to your grandmother, your sister. I said, that is the problem. We in the Africans, we don't have grandmother abroad. We don't have mothers. We don't have brothers. We don't have sisters. I am just alone. She said, oh, Shade, that is only what I can offer. I'm offering you because I like you to work with us. They are saying, me too. I would have loved to work with you. But you see, my children are involved. I don't know how I'm going to do them. I don't know the position to put them and I can't compromise them because if not so I will also get into trouble with the youth office. She said, yeah, that is true. Then she said also, now she she not asked me again. She said, how old are your children? I said, they are five years. She said, damn, they are still small. You don't have to walk. No, you have to wait when they are 14, 15, 16, then you can walk by that time. They can do everything by themselves. Then I said, no, in Africa, yeah, it's not like that. We have to send money home. <laughs> and the woman said, really? Yeah, she started laughing. She said, what about if I offer you only Monday till Friday? And during this, maybe one day you are working, then the kindergarten called you to say, maybe your child is sick, you have to come out. How will you do? I just told the woman, said, my children don't, don't fall sick. She said, no, my children are all grown now. I remember when my children were young, they can call me anytime for me to come and pick them up. I said, yes, that one I can manage. But it's Saturday and Sunday. I cannot manage because I don't have anywhere to keep them. The woman said, anyway, mm, I like you so much for you to work with us. We don't have any black person working in our hospital. Okay, I will send you an email. I have to have a meeting with my... Um, other colleagues i will send you an email so i said i told i just carried my pity face i said okay thank you ma'am so i left so when i was coming back i was feeling so so angry you know why i was angry because the thing just take me back to where a lot of people do say single mothers for germany go and work mona start to the e-government money the thing just take me back then I start thinking, really to talk about this government money, like you think everybody really want to be under the government, like me, no, I have the opportunity not to work in this country for the rest of my life, opportunity, but I'm not trying to make, I'm not going to make it an official, so if I start to work now, we work, even though they tell me, why are you working, I say, I have to work, what, what will I be doing, so please, what I'm saying, I just use myself as an example now, this is my credentials. 
first of all for you to be able to um say that you can stand up anytime and go to work you have to go to school first if you didn't go to school and have things like this should i count it for you plenty is much is much much you have to have things like this when you don't have things like this you can't stand up anything. You see me now, I just sleep and wake up, carry myself and said, oh, what will I be doing at home? I need to look. I started applying for, for job because I have things like this that got me covered. If you don't have things like this, I'm not saying this to, to, to make the, the women, some single mothers or mothers who don't want to work feel good. No. First of all, you have to go to school, achieve things like this, so that you can wake up any time, any day, and tell yourself, oh, what am I doing? Let me just apply. All this one, I have them inside my email. So once I'm applying for a job, I'll just send it to them. And no offices have seen them and rejected because the schools are good. You know? They know that once you come out of those schools, you were taught very very well so the thing got me thinking like why do people always say single uh, ladies in germany go and work go and work i don't think any woman will stay i wouldn't want to work i don't think i don't think there's anybody like that i know some women are actually lazy but i don't think any woman would be that lazy wouldn't want to work because in this country when you don't work your document won't move forward yes they will keep on giving you what you got from the beginning because you are not working if you are not working you won't get your passport if you are not even working you won't get your permanent resident permit permanent doctors of passport so when people say that single mothers go and work stop to the e-government money go work it got me thinking like i don't really think any woman with a right senses will want to stay without working Okay, like now, coronavirus is there. Everywhere is closed. Many people did not go to school, even the language school. They didn't go. They don't even have the certificate. They can't. Uh, so many women, they, they are just there. They are just there doing nothing. Like I said to myself, I said, uh-uh, now that I'm done with all this thing that I was doing, if I now sit at home, I start jumping from one live video to another because I'll be dropping comments there because I can't watch without commenting. The, why? Because I am bored. I don't have anything that is taking my time. So that's just the spirit. So please, the category of people that do say German women go and work, money and sort of the e-government money, the government money not too big. Salary is sweet, da. Because you know what, when you are working, you feel go bank, tell them say you need 20,000. They go, if you start to the work, some bank where would they send you letters, say I beg, come borrow money from us. So I don't think that anybody with a right senses that knows the, the benefit of working will just sit down and say it doesn't want to work. No, 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 no. It's a lie. So I just wanted to drop this short video today for from my own experience so that you can learn from me that being a mother it can deprive you of so many many things i mean i know how many jobs i have thrown away because of my children if i were to be single or maybe if i was married maybe i would be able to manage it maybe would do it kill and divide you know family thing whatever but because i am a mother and i have children to cater for I can't throw them away because if you have to work in the hospital, you have to work Sunday, sometimes Sunday, sometimes Saturday, sometimes midnight. And you know, say that midnight owner, the money is free. They only pay passport. Saturday and Sunday and midnight are free. So imagine, say, I work uh, 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 for uh, midnight three times, na big money for 8K. You don't know, say, some hospital, some clinic, they pay 24 euro for one hour. Like this one and at 27 euro for one hour. So imagine month sending how much be the salary and bonus payment, blah 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 blah. When journal, rich rich when journal. Yeah, you understand? So that I just I just wanted to drop my experience today that when I came out of that clinic, I was so so angry. I just said to myself, This is what a mother goes through. This is what you can throw away because you are a mother. Because if you decide to do anything stupid now.
you fall into trouble with the with the youth your office and that time when you start crying it's already late so that's what am i trying to say women ladies if you don't have anything you are doing go to school achieve something like this so that you can wake up <laughs> me now sleep i sleep wake up oh. now sleep i sleep wake up when i carry this thing say ah i have them in my email here i start sending i just check i start sending i start sending i start sending i start sending and say ah what will i be doing at home i start sending you understand so you have to sleep and wake up go to school so that anytime any day you can carry that one and you know be a gallant uh, a, a person so that's it my people i don't want this video to be so long so please those people that say that a uh, german women doesn't want to work it's a big lie we love to work because when you are working in this country the benefit that comes with it you can't even compare it with government money you can't even compare it with government money because when you are working and your salary doesn't even it's not enough for you there's somewhere that you go they will pay your house rent for you that's why you are working they will give you something to top on top of your house rent so you can't compare the benefit that comes <laughs> the woman told me she said please when i call you you have to take away your nails i tell her i know <laughs> so you can't compare the benefit that comes with salary to government benefits so i hope i was able to elevate somebody's spirit today so stay blessed don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys on my next video god bless you bye bye